So it's coming into E3 season, the big time of the year for video game announcements. And while I will make an E3 video where I talk about games I'd like to see or think we'll see at the event, this video is not that. No, this video is about the saying that comes with every rumor about E3. Every single time there's something that people think might be announced, either a game or a system or whatever, you can bet that someone will be saying, take this with a grain of salt. Hello all 228 of you, I'm Red Quan, and yeah, take this with a grain of salt. I feel like this is one of those sayings people use all the time, but don't actually think about what it means. I don't think anyone has actually thought about what it means at all, but I have, and I was always pretty sure that it meant, this rumor is so not true, that it's only as important as that grain of salt. That useless little crumb of salt is how much you should care about this rumor. It's so uncredible and almost 100% false that you shouldn't even think that it means anything or affects you in any way. I'm basically just reporting on it because I have nothing else to report on and it looks pretty good on a thumbnail. And I always thought that that was pretty weird because they would make a big deal out of something and then belittle everything they just said by following it up with, take this with a grain of salt. But that's not actually it. Apparently it comes from the days of ancient Rome a little while back. And it means, ahem, <laughs> that you should accept what is being said, but realize that it might end up not being right. So basically, there's a good chance it's right, but if I'm wrong, then I warned ya. Kinda. And it apparently comes from the idea that you can swallow food easier if you put salt on it. Which, I guess, somehow relates back to Super Smash Bros. rumors. I don't know, you tell me. But I guess it turns out that the people who have been using this, take this with a grain of salt thing, have actually been using it pretty accurately, because a good amount of the time the rumors are true, and I guess I've been really wrong. I sit in a corner of shame. But don't go giving those video game news reporting places a high five just yet. Because for one, I doubt they thought about it enough to know that it came from salt making food easier to swallow in Rome, and also because just because they use it right, doesn't mean they have to use it every single stinking time there's a rumor. Technically, if it's really what the saying is referring to, then taking it with more salt would mean the rumor is less likely to be true, and taking it with a small grain of salt would mean it's almost certainly true, which is usually used the other way around. No matter who it is, no matter what the rumor's about, or how confirmed it is, almost every single time some rumor comes out will be told to take it with a grain of salt. Is that really the only thing we can say? How about, this isn't a for sure thing, so don't think it's definitely true, and be possibly disappointed, but... It might be true. Nah, that's probably too long. I guess I'll have to make my own catchy slogan. It's the only way. I got it, and oh boy is it perfect. How about this? It's a banana peel for a three-legged giraffe. As in, according to Inaccurate Times, the Master Sword will be a new character for Super Smash Bros. Switch. But of course, it's a banana peel for a three-legged giraffe whether this will actually happen. I can see you're not loving it. No, no, that's totally cool. I guess I'll just have to convince ya. So you see, this saying actually makes perfect sense when you really break it down. So an animal with three legs that normally has four, probably doesn't have the best balance. And a giraffe is probably not the most balanced animal out there either. So a three-legged giraffe is pretty unstable, and it could fall down with just a little push. And what makes things fall? Banana peels, of course. At least that's what I've been taught from animated television. And now you might be able to see where this is going. The three-legged giraffe is on the brink of toppling over, and suddenly, there's a banana peel. If the giraffe hits the banana peel, it's not going to end so hot for him. But he could also just walk by. So the saying really is this big analogy for saying something big could happen, but there's a chance it won't. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but most sayings don't make sense either, so it works perfectly. No giraffes were harmed in the making of this video. So what was the point of all this? I honestly don't really know. It mainly just kind of gets on my nerves that every single time there's a rumor, people say to take this with a grain of salt. It's honestly every time. And I just wanted to bring this extremely important issue to the attention of the general public. And I haven't tried to think up good video ideas in a while. That might be a part of it. And you know, I just wanted to give another option, instead of take this with a grain of salt, for people to use occasionally. So if you ever make a video or an article, or a wacky radio talk show, when you talk about video games, then you need to use it. Spread it around, and together, we can end the monopoly of take this with a grain of salt. It's been hogging the cautious optimism train for far too long. Justice shall be served with a grain of salt. 
Well, I'm guessing that this video will either do decently well, or be completely left out to dry like my failures of subscriber specials. Honestly, I'm pretty sure it's door number two. But either way, I thought it was fun to make, and that's really all that matters. Not really, but that'll be my excuse for it getting two views. What sayings would you make to replace take this with a grain of salt? Please tell me, I'm curious. But also tell me if you ever do anything where you don't use take this with a grain of salt, because that's pretty cool too. And you know, it's a banana peel for a three-legged giraffe is always an option if, you know, you want to use that or something, I don't know. But anyways, I'm Red Quan. thank you all for watching, and I'll hopefully see you all later. As in you don't unsubscribe from my channel for delivering you this piece of garbage. And goodbye.